Hi, this is Brother K and once again welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry. Haven't you heard where you hear news about a couple, married couples who were so classy couples and they've probably been married for a long time and everything was going well for them and then suddenly you hear they have divorced and you wonder what happened? What happened? This was a classic um, couples and they were examples for many their marriage was so beautiful to watch to want to emulate and everything was going well for the family how come now these couples are no more together what happened and some of these things are happening in this day and age why because people are taking their marriage for granted first of all some people are becoming selfish immediately selfishness come in marriage divorce and separation the devil will come in and break their relationship secondly people are not allowing god to put them together the bible says that what god has put together let no man put asunder what god has put together some people are building their marriages on a foundation without jesus people are building their foundation on themselves oh my husband is loyal my husband is a good husband my wife is a good husband no they can be good they can be nice but the day the devil comes to challenge your marriage, that goodness will not help you guys. That is why many good marriages have been destroyed. Why? Because they were relying on their human goodness. They were relying on their human strength. But today, in these end times, we have spirit, demons, who are sent from the pit of hell to destroy marriages. And when they come and you are not building your marriage on jesus christ they will break that marriage they will destroy that marriage and that's why we have so many nice good marriages now ending up in divorce and you wonder why why because they were relying on their own strength they were not allowing god to put them together they were not building their marriage the family on the solid rock of jesus christ they were not taking jesus christ seriously they were not relying on christ jesus to hold them and to keep them together until the devil who is roaring like a lion came and devoured and destroyed their marriage so today my warning to you is that don't take your marriage for granted and do not rely on your own understanding some people say oh my husband as for my husband i trust him the bible says curses anyone who put his trust in man you may trust him that he will not cheat on you you may trust him that he will not do you any harm but there's a demon that will be sent for to attack him and that demon will uh, manifest himself as a Delilah, as a Jezebel, as a lustful woman, and then trap your husband into f falling into adulterous fornication act with that woman. And it will not be, it will be against his will, but he cannot resist because it was, it was, it was a demonic attack on your husband. So if you were trusting your husband, then you'll be disappointed. And many have been disappointed just because they were putting their confidence and their trust on their spouses instead of lifting up their eyes and trusting God for their marital um, marital stability so today there's somebody you are going that direction putting too much confidence in your spouse <laughs> you'll be you are in for a surprise people have come to me who have been married for 40 years and now the devil is destroying their marriage 20 20 years 23 years 30 years and the devil is now destroying their marriage so don't think you have arrived each and every one of us must learn to trust God to keep our marriage, to keep it from falling, to keep it from divorce, to keep it from separation, to keep keep it from quarreling, misunderstanding, confusion, distrust, adultery, and all those things that comes when the devil starts visiting your family and your marriage. And some of us are also opening doors ways for the enemy to enter. We are not taking our Christianity seriously. We are too relaxed. Oh, I'm married. Um, my husband is good. My wife is good. My children are okay. And now they are introducing pornography into their marriage. Introducing masturbation. Introducing oral sex. Introducing all the fields of the worldliness into their marriage. And they have kicked out Jesus. Now Jesus is no more the center of the marriage. So now the devil comes and it is the marriage is destroyed. Because he, is, he's, he doesn't find himself in that place. How can a, your husband be watching pornography or you and him watching pornography? The people you are watching, they are all agents of the devil. After that, there's going to be transference of spirits. And these spirits will come in and destroy your marriage, oral sex, masturbation, and all nasty things people are introducing into their marriage. Today, that's why many marriages are suffering 
distraction because people are opening up giving the devil legal right to come in and people are putting their trust in themselves you are in for a surprise the devil is very busy in these end times that's what the bible says that let him who thinks he's standing pay heed lest he falls today i'm not talking about those who are divorced i'm talking about those who are happy are, are married right now so if you are married be warned if you are married be warned hold on fast to jesus hold on fast to jesus and do not take your marriage for granted do not take your spouse for granted cherish what god has given to you lest you lose it cherish what god has given you lest you lose it some people are taking themselves for granted a wife is taking husband for granted they don't even appreciate what the husband does anymore husbands are taking wife for granted they don't appreciate what the wife does for them anymore because they think it's it's, it's a must you must do it it's a necessity you must do it and because it's a must you must do it even if you do it i don't recognize it i don't appreciate it where, where is the love where is the care where is the kindness where is the gentleness where is the compassion where is all the love it has disappeared and right now we think each and everyone owes us something and so it is much dry in the relationship you are toying with your marital destiny many people have lost their marriages until their eyes open that wow i was abusing my relationship i was abusing my husband i was abusing my wife emotionally physically verbally mentally i did wrong and it was too late but today if you are hearing the sound of my voice and you're married begin to go on your knees and start praying every day pray for your husband that God will deliver him from temptation, from Jezebel and Delilah and seductress women. That the Lord will deliver them from seductress, seductress women, women who are sent to come and cause married couples, married husbands to to sleep with them, to have affairs with them. There are there are some women that is their specific agenda. You have to pray that Father deliver my husband from such. Pray for your wife that the Lord will preserve her and keep her make her prayerful pray that the lord will bring peace and 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 bring harmony pray that the presence of god will be between you and your husband you are for one because the devil is busy all of us we need jesus build your marital foundation on jesus christ before it is too late there's somebody you are playing games the devil has given you an expiration date no you see what the deception is Today, when somebody is enjoying their marriage, they think they've arrived. They don't know that sometimes the devil will be working that 10 years from now, I'm going to destroy this marriage. Five years from now, I'm going to destroy this marriage because they are not taking God seriously, because they are not praying, because they are not resisting me. For now, let them enjoy themselves. But five years, this marriage will no more be in existence. And that is why some people, some 10 years ago, were enjoying themselves. They were the classic married couples. Today, they are no more married because the devil was planning.